Thank you, George. Welcome back, everyone. And here we are again to do the gallery walk around to show off the beautiful paintings that Wendy Lee, standing beside me, has um, put together for this collection of magnificent works. Thank you again, Wendy, because they're gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So one of the reasons we do this, I know I say it every time, but we do it so that you get an idea of size and perspective. If someone of either Wendy or I are beside it, touching it, standing with it, you can tell exactly how big that painting is, whether it would fit in your home, and um, we can talk a little bit about it as well. So uh, George is getting up nice and close. So this one's quite, quite the painting. It's called Garden Fresh, Fresh. and all natives, is it? Yes. Tell us about it's it. It's just natives. beautiful. Absolutely. Yes. Well, it's got some wild native roses in it as well. But oh. um, it's basically lots of leaves, autumn leaves, that I went mm. through it, and um, eucalypts, eucalyptus leaves, and I'm really getting into Mon monstera leaves. So oh. I had to put that in as well, yeah. And oh, it's uh, just a dollar, dollar gum. Yes, wild roses. No, it's lovely. Yeah. And it photographs incredibly well as well. I, put, I think I put it on Instagram today or yesterday. I can't remember. I lose track of time. But um, it, it just looks, just mm. jumps out. Mm. It's perfect. It does, doesn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. I was really and happy with it. This one too. So I can't remember the name. I've got to look up the names of this one. The name is so appropriate. Showboat. Showboat. So yeah. <laughs> why did you give it that name? Ah, oh, because it just popped out there you know and says look look at me because you know these flowers only um bloom within 24 hours and then they start dying off again oh what is this yep, one again easter, this is the easter cactus easter cactus mm. that's not the same as what we've got out here it is the same oh, oh i do know you do have to be and quick so, yes so this is a very old plant that hangs from a pot in the lounge room and um when it all came out in bloom, you know, I just had to capture that and it's just stunning. It is really lovely, but mm. ours hasn't flowered for so long. I've forgotten what it <laughs> looks like. So it, every day it would get these big show, showy yes, flowers. Yes, showy flowers. And then the next morning they'd be mm. gone and there'd be a new lot mm. opening. Opening up, yes. But then and it buds. just stopped. And new buds. Yes. So, I don't know, maybe it was too much water. Uh, that's what maybe. we suffered from. Tell us about and this, this one, one. This one's called Mischievous Maggie, for obvious reasons. You know, the the back deck with the open window to the kitchen. It's like a servery, oh. a, a friend's place. And um, we'd been sitting there, and I left. And when I came back, there was Maggie having a, a little look. So I thought, oh, I've got to paint this. So this is not the so, same magpie that visits no, your this house. Is, no, it's another one. magpie. Actually. So you attract yeah. magpies. I do. I've got a big story about magpies too from my childhood. Oh, can you yeah. tell us while we move around? Well, is it because um, we can talk about this one? Because yeah. I think this is okay. another one where this is spring Maggie. Mm. Um, yes, when I was a child, our back shed burnt down, and it had all my playthings in it. You know, my dolls' dresses that I'd made, and 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 all the furniture that my father had made for it, and we had our bikes and everything. The whole shed burnt down from the next door neighbour. Oh, no. And when I came home from school, all there was was this uh, ash, white ash, and two magpies picking over it. And one had found a little leg from my doll oh. and was sort of playing with it, you know, and I thought, oh, oh yes, that's and amazing. And I, I actually based my... Um, my studies at university on that story. Oh, you must tell us about that mm. too. Where, mm. where did you study, man? So here's, we'll just move slowly along and look at these. As they're all these this is four flower, here, maybe. they're all they're a series, aren't they? They're four yes, they're in a the series. series, and this one's sunflower, Maggie. And yeah, so where did you study art? Wollongong, Wollongong, Wollongong University. Mm. Oh, first at TAFE on the mid north coast, and then oh. Wollongong. But that was after, I, well, yes, after I started yeah. painting. Ah, oh, right. Well, a lot of people do that. It was I in the noughties, but I started painting in 89. Yeah, mm. I think a lot of people change direction um, mm. and or change careers, um, mm. particularly maybe midlife too. I don't know that these days 
remember when we were younger, it was, you know, your job was forever. You yes. know, go and watch at the end of 25 or 30 or 50 years service yes. sort of thing. That's all gone. Mm. I mean, one of my daughters said to me that if you still stayed in a job for five years, I think there was something wrong with you. You know, why, <laughs> why would you actually stay in one place for that long? This so, is um, Waffle Maggie. Yeah, and we were commenting before how lovely it looks yes. with Lucy McEachran's bronze um, magpie, which is or has always been my favourite. It's beautiful. It's tactile. Yes. And, yeah, and just beautiful. bronze, lovely, absolutely. There are a lot of people asking about this fella, but price-wise, it's sort of up there. <laughs> but um, oh, no, really, really, yeah. And, and, and Lucy's winning so, so many. Out. Yes, and Lucy, uh, that's why it's there. Yes. I mean, it just matches your work just perfectly. Now, there's one that we, it has already sold too, this lovely big one in here. Um, I'm just going to stand next to it very, just here like that to give you an idea for size. And it's, again, stunning. You'll need to talk over there, Wendy, because it won't work perhaps if you want to. Yes, this one's called Natives in Sight, yeah. for obvious reasons. Maggie has jumped onto the chair and thought, oh, what's going on here, you know? It's bringing the bush to the town. Oh. That's what all, the, all my work is really about. I just want to, to bring that um, beautiful healing properties mm -hmm. of, of oh, life they are from the bush. Too. You know, mm. they're just, just such happy painting, joyful, just mm. joyful. And my favourite proteas are in that one. Yeah. The bottle brushes. The bottle brush. And, oh, just, just absolutely lovely. The gum leaves. I love the gum leaves. Gum leaves, yes. Mm. And now, tell us about this. this. This is a coral tree, I think, is it? It's a coral yeah. tree, yes, which I see everywhere around my area. And oh, well, up and down the coast, really. <clears throat> and that's a wattle bird sitting in there. And the wattle birds just love the coral tree flowers when they first come out you know there are no leaves just flowers and it mm. makes again those red colors the reds and the oranges oh, which i just love stunning. against yeah. the contrast yeah. and for those that don't know wendy actually lives on the south coast so just down near wollongong mm. and i when i went down to do the studio visit i didn't realize how close you were to the water mm. it was i had i sat on the cliff edge oh, on right. the golf course yes and um Yes, I've spent similar. a lot of time on golf courses my yeah. <laughs> with my son and uh, it brought back memories, but it was just beautiful sitting there watching yeah. the water, magpies, everything. This is lovely. This is my girlfriend's cat, Loki. Ah, and so there's Loki, Loki features in a couple in of these paintings. That's right, mm -hmm. contemplation. Ah, yes, no, lovely. And so he's got you his know, eye on something. this is one of those more contemporary interiors, which yes. is really quite interesting. Yes. It's a, Lovely. And again, the Easter cactus in the corner. Yes, yes. This is everyone's favourite. Right. Um, ah. Definitely had lots of... Uh, you can stand in front of it and tell us about this one. See, yeah. Because it's just... How big adorable. it is. 120 yes. by 80. Stunning piece. Beautiful frame. Little sunny corner. Uh, I felt this work would be wonderful at the end of a hallway. <gasps> Yeah. And it would give the impression that your hallway goes further than it does yeah. because of the window and the light coming through. And brighten up the hallway mm. too, you know, yeah. with the flowers. The, yeah. the centre of attention is this, this magnificent bunch of flowers. It's just it's wonderful, outstanding. Isn't it? Yes. And I think everything about this, the composition of this painting mm. is perfect. I love the way it's sort of bottom heavy in a way and it just sort of the elongation of the, mm -hmm. the painting yes. um, tends to give it that well, depth it that and contrast. height and, yeah it's just really lovely Do but also I'm, I'm really concentrating a lot on um, reflections and sunlight mm -hmm. and what it can do to my subject matter mm -hmm. and um, yeah I was really been wanting to do this painting for a long time actually yeah that's um, a it's credit to you Wendy because it's had a lot of attention. I've had a lot of inquiries about this one. Mm -hmm. um, oh, and rambling roses. Rambling roses. Again, yes. Lovely. Again, it's got the sun that shines on them, but it's, it's just not just that. It's just the contrast, the mm. black and the flowers, and it's you know, it's and it's so not really black either. Is no, it? No, it's a very dark oh, green. It is too. Because I don't like to use black. I've heard yeah. that before. Very, last. Yep. very little time would I use black in a yeah, painting. No, I've yeah, I've heard that before. Mix mm -hmm. all my colours. Mm -hmm. 
nothing out of a tune. Yeah, and, and to be honest, uh, you can probably see it, but just these variations in, in light and shade is lovely and the way it transitions mm. into another colour. Um, again, you use those shapes, but yeah. I love the morphing of the shape into another shape and that's sort of <laughs> rather nice as well. Yeah. And this one is called... Chrysants. Chrysants, of course. Yes. Just look at them. Spectacular. And then we come to the last one, which I think is everyone's favourite. And you were commenting, yes. Wendy, that you love it on this wall. I, sorry, I do love it on this wall um, because of the contrast of texture and of the stone and the texture of the mm. um, petals of the poppies. Yeah, but poppies I particularly love that painting more so for the buds than the flowers. Ah! Yeah. I I'm just love how there's so many buds with, that come up with the poppies. Do you know there's something about poppy buds that, well, m my daughter is born at the, um, she was born in poppy season and ah. from probably from birth right through until she left home, I'd always buy her a bunch of poppies for her birthday. Beautiful. And I would always look for the ones, the bunches that had many buds, because there was something about just watching them flick over yes. and, the, and that bug just yes. sort of drop off. Yes. Yeah, no, and, and that's And beautiful. then the, the petals just climb out yeah. of the, yeah. no. the bud, don't they? And they don't last that long, particularly no. in Australian summers. And the, September is her birthday, and of course, late September can be pretty damn hot. <laughs> they wouldn't last long at all. We've come to the end of the walkabout. Yes, thank it's, you. Um, it's been delightful, Wendy. So again, please have a look on um, on site. Oh, yes, I nearly forgot that. Excellent. This is the most beautiful catalogue Wendy's put together. So I did up a catalogue of this actual exhibition, mm, mm. Um, which is available for sale as well. So you can order it. This yes, I, a I nice coffee table it presentation. Is I don't think we've put that all on the artist list. statements that go with the uh, the work. Ah. Yeah, I think that's not on the website, so I'll include it on the website if it's for sale because I wasn't sure. So that's right. perfect. Okay, well we'll do that. So if if you're interested in any of the paintings or of course the the beautiful catalogue. Or you know anything that you've seen today, please go to the website. Uh, exhibitions on until the end of the month. Why flowers matter? And Wendy, thank you and congratulations. Thank you. It's thank you. absolutely fabulous.